What's going on guys? And for the win here, we are back with our franchise mode as the Minnesota Wild. And um, so I reset everything. Parise is back on the team. <laughs> We're probably still going to trade him, but it's good to know that we can trade him. And um, the the settings are going to be waivers are going to be on. Injuries are also going to be on, but set down to the sliders that we had for the Quebec ones, which I think was a good setup. It's, you know, back and forth. Now, I, I, I know some people said, or at least a couple people said to turn morale off, but I don't know. I... I feel like that makes things way kind of easy. Yeah, it sucks to have morale and stuff like during rebuilds, but it, it happens. I mean, that's shit happens. I don't know. So, ah, <laughs> I'll leave morale on for now. I got injuries on with the sliders toned down, so it's not going to be too heavy. Hopefully, we can always mess with it more. And then also waivers are going to be on. So that's that. And um, what we're going to do, though. Is some a lot of people were on board with the rebuild. Um, other good, other good points were brought up though. Like, well, I'm obviously not going to trade like the younger crop here. But someone said maybe you should like at least see what they're going to do. So see what like see how the team can do. I don't think they're going to do that well. Like when you look at the team, I it could be one of those weird EA teams. But man, I don't, I don't think so. So we can. We can try and sim a bit to see how this team's going to do. Try to give, like, some of our, you know, guys some growth to see if we're going to be any good. And and then maybe if it doesn't work out, we could try, like, then we could start the rebuild. I don't think we're going to be good. It's with this team. I mean, we could try it anyway. At least see how we do at the start. And then maybe from there decide, okay, let's let's time the rebuild here. And, oh, yeah, someone said I was thinking about chain calling off to, you know, a contender or something. But they said he wanted to come back to Minnesota to play for his hometown team. So, all right, no trade in him. And, um, yeah, let's see. Now, we got some scratched guys, I think, which would be Olofsson, doesn't matter. Erickson, we want to play, definitely. Um, uh, which means Cullen might uh, might have to sit. I don't want him to sit. Oh, Ennis is depth. Okay, so uh, Cullen doesn't sit. Ennis sits. Fuck Ennis. <laughs> let's be honest, man. Fuck Ennis. All right, um... Can he play? Can Erickson play wing? It's not ideal, but. Nah, just put him in the center. Colin don't mind. Colin won't mind playing wing, right? <laughs> I know he's got way better face-offs, but. We'll see. Erickson, Colin, Felino. Interesting there. So we could try something like that out. I do think we are going to rebuild, but I, I will give us a chance in the sim here. I'll give this team a shot. I know we could still trade Parise, we hope at least. So, Cun oh yeah, Cunningham was also, okay, yeah, 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 so you know what? Hmm, Felino's not that great, I might m ship this guy off. I might do, like, Cullen, Erickson, and then Cunning, because he's a fourth liner. We want him to grow, we don't want to, you know, we want, yeah, alright, that's probably what I'll do here. Can keep Winnick. I want to keep Cullen, he's slightly better than Felino. He might decline, yeah. We could maybe have Felino just scratched for now. That could also be an option. Just have him scratch. He, he'll probably complain about ice time, but we are going to have injuries. So if he jumps in, maybe it won't be too bad. Oh, we also got the first. Why the hell is this guy fourth line? He's real. No, he's terrible. What the hell is that, EA? Get out of here. All right, bring this guy up. Kyle Quincy is top six, and he's actually really good. Let's bring him up. Oh, I can't. Do we have a lot of. We must have a lot of defense up. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, hold on. One. Okay, let's see. Riley, who's not... Okay, they're both listed as depth. Okay, well, Olufsen's obviously... Why? Okay, yeah, there we go. For some reason, I wouldn't let... Okay, because I pressed A on him. That's right. Okay, ooh, we're actually over cap right now. Okay, so someone else is going to have to go down. Who's better? <laughs> None of them. But uh, Riley's growing, so maybe want to... Let's see, Quincy's a lefty, they're all, uh, this guy's a righty, okay, well, we could start him off in the AHL, I don't know if he's ever going to get to that top four, we could start him AHL and see where he goes, but neither of them are good, they're actually both pretty friggin' bad, Ugh. yeah, I can't really get it, I can't afford to have another guy, I would have to trade Parise to be able to afford someone else, and if we're going to see how this team does, trade. oh man, yeah. Okay, I don't have another score. See, that's why it's leading towards the rebuild, because we don't have options. <laughs> we don't have any other options for scores. I'll try this out, but man, I really think we're going to have to rebuild. But I'll, I'll give him a bit to sim. We'll, 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 really, we'll really hammer it home, though. All right, anyway. Who else is up here? 
that we can send down. I guess we could have Felino scratch, then we have defenseman scratch, but we don't right now. We have Ennis is scratch. Get Ennis out of here. You can play HL. Here we go. That'll free up a tiny bit of space. Not much, but yeah. We're gonna need a depth defenseman. So we might actually keep the other. Yeah, we might actually keep Riley up here anyway. You know what? Let's do that. Or Murphy. New. No. Let's keep him up here. There we go. That'll be better. Yeah, we'll do something like that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to do minor line changes. I'm not overhauling, so I don't think I need to really go too slow with it. But All right, so who goes in? I, I might as well put Riley in then if he's going to... Although Kyle Kuntz is so much better. So sub him in everywhere. Prosser is so bad, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll have Riley play his actual death time. But if we don't have injuries, he ain't going to play. So screw you, Prosser. I want to get Riley in there. I know it's two lefties. I don't really care, though. Don't really care right now. All right. Well, that should be just about it. Let me see what I can do with this power play. It's not great. I might actually just let the team go how it is built, you know? Yeah, it's... Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got for the lines here. Zucker, yes. Koivu, yeah, kind of. Maybe not Cullen, then. Yeah, not Cullen. Let's go with Coil. Since he is going to be playing down. Let's get him on the PK as well. Yeah, we'll do that. Suter's got to be top line PK, yes. Um, How about power play? Is he on the... Dumba... I mean, he is really good. And he's... Let's see how good Spurgeon is. I'm a favorite Dumba. I know he's not as good, but I want him to get the ice time. Okay, let's see. Alright, that actually looks pretty good for the power play and stuff then, too. Maybe not so much stall, though. Wait, where's... uh? Okay, yeah, Niederreiter is in there. Good. Yeah, that could work. <laughs> I don't think it'll work, but it could work. So, let's try it. We got a couple guys for death. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry. You gotta go in there. Yeah, put him in. These guys... You know what? I'm actually put Erickson on the power play here. Instead of Coil. Yeah, I'm actually gonna... I know Coil's decent, but he's got that top penalty kill time. And he's not insanely offensive. I want Erickson to get points here. Definitely. So let's put him on that second power play unit. Um, actually, well, he doesn't have the greatest face off. So we'll keep him off that because we want possession on the power play for sure. So we'll keep Koivu in there. He's got the best face offs out of any of them. So we'll do that. Erickson will be on the one time. He doesn't have much of a shot. Stahl is a better shot. So put him on the one time. And we'll do that. We don't have Cunning, but that's all right. He didn't have to. It, 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 I think he actually had decent offensive stats though. Eh, nah. Keep him, on the, keep him there for now. He's a two-way forward anyway. So I think that's what we'll do. Those will be the rough lines we're going to go with right now. HL, let's just best lines that crap because I don't even think we have any prospects, really. If we did, it was like one guy, but no, I, I think they're both brought up. Nope, that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Unless that guy's something. Highly doubt it. Nope. I'm just going to double check everything just to make sure we're not having anyone sit here that can is you know serviceable or serviceable in the future, and I don't think there are. Poor Ennis. Well, get wrecked. Carry, carry, carry my team. All right, and all that should be good. Again, check to see if there's anyone who can grow. Oh, excuse me, who can grow. 70, might throw him in there. It's not great, but... <laughs> this guy's 26. Ah, they're both terrible. Who's slightly better? That doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. And it doesn't really matter. You know, I'm just going to keep... He's not going to go anywhere. Let's just keep the team good-ish. Even though that really doesn't matter either. Svedberg. Okay, Kokkinen. Is this guy back up? I could go with them too. All right. Well, we're going to hold on to everyone because we'll probably be bringing up Svedberg if we end up trading Dubnik if this doesn't really go too well, which I don't think it will, but we're going to try it. We are going to try it here. I don't think we're going to have enough offense, but I could be surprised. EA does some weird stuff, so we'll see. All right, um, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards we're still probably going to rebuild, but let's see what this team does to start things off. I just want to see how we do. So if it doesn't look great, like if it don't look like, yeah, 
And pl- but the good thing is we can still trade a lot of those guys at the draft. But yeah, you know, I-, I think we're gonna really lack goal scoring here. And there's not much you can do about it. We don't have enough money. You can trade Parise, but how you get the value to get the guy to replace him? You- we just don't have it anywhere. <laughs> so we're gonna try. We're gonna see what this team is capable of. Cause you never know. You can be surprised sometimes. But I think we're most likely gonna be starting the rebuild here. We're gonna give him a shot. See. <laughs> See what they see what they can do. Basically, I don't know. I don't have too much faith, but I've been proven wrong plenty of times. So I'd rather um just try it. Yeah, whatever I'm trying to say. I, I lost my train of thought. Sorry. I'm uh <laughs> making sure I've had some problems today with my uploads. So I'm just making sure they're all uploading properly at the same time. Multitasking, very difficult. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Waivers is going to be in effect. Oh, that's right. So we could have let Tyler Ennis got cl- get claimed by someone else. That would have been an idea. Okay. So we don't start off too great. Oh, one and one, but it is early, very early. And we're going to do three weeks for defensemen since there's so many here in these first couple years. We're just going to do standard scouting. I'm not sure what we're after yet. We're just going to scout everything. It's not looking good. We finally get a win. But it is not looking great right now. So yeah, we don't want to waste too much time trying to make this team good. If if they're not if we're not amazing out of the gates, man, like oh well here we go. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Maybe Minnesota does have something. And again, we might just be uh Co Erickson and they get out of here. You're dumb, assistant coach. No. Don't ever do that to me again. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. And my son is Erickson. Don't do the math. All right. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now we're good. All right. Now we can continue. We are on a bit of a streak here. Four in a row. Okay. We lost right there. Then we win. Eh, we're finding a way to win. I mean, we might be able to make the playoffs. We might have a chance. I don't know. I don't know. It's sort of working. We'll probably get all the way up to the deadline here in this video. Unless, yeah, I don't know. No, I'm fucking winning. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, d I don't know how. I mean, seriously, compare this to the LA team. Why was this team doing good in the LA? With our LA first year was horrible. Oh, cunnan has been injured. There's a first injury. Injured shoulder. Uh, we could just replace player because he's on the fourth line. November 17th is not too long. Anyway, I will wait wait him out. Wait till he's fully healed. Yeah. Uh, oh, Cal Quincy mal concussion. There's another one. But luckily, we have another defenseman who can step in there. Luke Cunning's available. We want to wait till he's fully healed. So we're going to do that. Here he's... Well, he should have been fully healed. Oh, I, I don't have him set. I oh, I didn't set it like that. That's my bad. Yeah, I had it. I forgot when I reset this, uh, this franchise. I did not... Yeah, I did not set him. Yeah, they're both just available. Okay, that's my bad. I need to set him to uh, notify me with for both when they're available and uh, when they're actually fully healed. Because it said 17. So we will be fully healed. Wow, Eric Stahl. Um, yeah, let me, let me put him in and then I'll switch that setting. So get him out, get Felino out, put back in Cunning. I don't know how to pronounce that. If there's any mini fans out there, I'm assuming it's Cunning or Cunin, one of the two, but Cunning sounds more, what am I, it's a defenseman. I don't know if he's fully healed yet. So let's do the setting first. That's my bad. I apologize. Oh, come on, come on, come on. There you go. <sighs> All right, where is it now? I got to remember where it is. Such a new setting here. I don't know if it's in the rules or the... Okay, playable. There we go. So you want both. Because sometimes you want to put them in when they're playable, depending on who they are. So I'll set it to both. I might just do... Uh, it is better. Because I rarely put them in when they're playable, unless it's a playoff spot. We'll keep it like that for now. Hope if we hit When you hit injury bugs, that's the only time it gets annoying because it'll notify you like 20,000 times for someone. But, you know... All right, let's continue. Let's finish off. Uh, now he's fully healed, so we'll put him right back in right after this game. All right, so, yeah, it was for Prosser, right? Yeah. Kyle Quincy back in. And there we go. Prosser got him a couple games under his belt, and we're still 13-4-3. What the actual fuck? That is, I I, I was figuring that hey, we may, might be able to make the playoffs, but it's going to be really close. But, oh, wait a sec. Four losses in a row here. Maybe Minnie's falling, but there we go. 14, 8, and 3 after the first stretch. That's 
It's good, but we got to see how strong the Central is. We're third in the division, four points ahead of the fourth spot, but it doesn't look like we have the wild card positions. Oh, or then, yeah, the, yeah, the wild card, but it's, it's still really close, so yeah, I think it's going all right right now. Weird, man. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, this team's good. I hate EA. Really, they shouldn't be good. Sorry. 2.8, 2.4. Pretty good ratio for what we have. 20% on the power play. Penalty kill, a little low, but compared to everyone else, it's out average. 8-3-1 home ice. 6-5-2 away. 5-5-0 five, five, oh in the last 10. What the hell? <laughs> Quite, what the hell? I don't get it. But all right. Um, Eric Saul, 23 points. Granlin with 18 Suter with 18, Parise's got 16, Coil with 15, Koivu need a rider. It falls off pretty quick after that. But, man. Oh, wait, is Nita on the first line? Well, he's not going to grow too much anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if he's in his role, really. Uh, Erickson's got nine points. Three points of the power play, so good. And Cunnin's got nine points as well. So they're doing all right there on the fourth line. Minus five, though, for Erickson. Very weird. Alright, um, Suda really leading points there. I'm hoping for Dumba to get a bit more. He's, yeah, he's done alright on the, he's done good on the power play. Can't take that away from him. And Dubinik is on fire and Staylock is trash. Wow, okay. <laughs> God damn, Staylock. I can, I, don't, I might as well switch you for the other guy. At least he might be decent. Holy. Since we are trying to win now, I might actually do that. Staylock, that is god awful, bud. I'm actually going to do that. <laughs> going to get that 77 in there. Because he can't be, he can't perform any worse than that. Jeez. It's a dick move, maybe, but hey, whatever. Get Svedberg up here. See if he'll be any better than Staylock. <gasps> oh, waivers. He has to clear waivers. Mm, I actually don't want to do that then. Yeah. Don't want to do that. He's going to have to clear waivers. Interesting. All right. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> He'll probably, he, with my luck, he'd get picked up, and then we'd, yeah, we'd be shit out of luck. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but at the same time, I might do it if he keeps playing bad. We'll give him another month, see if he can improve his stats. He should get, like, one or two games in here, so let's see if he can trend upwards. We're losing. All right, I come back with a win there. We're still winning the majority of the games. Don't know how, but we are. All right, continue the scout here. But I got, I got my, my fingers on the trigger, though. This, as soon as I see, you know, as soon as we start dropping, I'm not going to try to fix it. I'm going to say, no, we got we got to rebuild. Because we can't. We don't have the assets to try to fix it and make ourselves good in a year. We just, we just unfortunately, don't. I wish we did, but we don't. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty difficult. And, yeah, we seem to be falling further, further down, close to 500. Palmquist, who are you? Where I gotta at least know where he is, so when I replace him, I can throw him in there. He's on the defense. Okay, so he's deep. Oh, way down here. All right, so replace him with whoever's the best. Yeah, just throw him in there. Actually, let's put that seventh D guy in there. Give him some nice time. Here we go. And right when he comes back, we'll put him back. All right, we won. Then we won. All right, so we raced that little interesting stretch in there. Let's wait till he's fully healed. Not that it matters for AHL as much, but there he is. Throw him back in there. I wish you could turn off, like, AHL injuries. I would do that. Like, if you can only have NHL injuries on, because dealing with the AHL is really the only thing that kind of I don't like. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense. And we're back on the winning side of things. Okay. Scouting. Keeping it going. Finish off the queue. And we're looking good. 21, 14, and 4. I mean, we're hanging in there. We are hanging in there. Third in the division, uh, we got the wild card spot, two points behind us, and the other one is four points behind us, so we're hanging in there. Stall is fucking crazy. How many years is this guy signed to? Because we might actually get some hardcore statistical growth out of this guy and be able to trade him for a lot. He's got, oh, this is fucking perfect. Oh, man, yeah. All right, you know what? Good call. Good call. This actually might work out to our benefit for both things. We could have a bit of a win now, and then our rebuild is going to be stronger if we can get Eric Stahl to grow statistically, like up to an 88 or something like that. Get him a lot more value. Even on the older side of things, he'll, he'll be able to move that. But after that, it does drop off. Stahl is going crazy, but oof, Parise. <laughs> I'm going to trade this guy's ASAP, like at the draft probably, if I if, we, if we're going to make the playoffs and crack. And crap. We want him to have a crack at the cup. There we go. 
Got the wording in there. Was mixing them up first. All right, let's keep going here. We're doing pretty well. I didn't check the team stats, so that's all right. We'll check them next. I'm not really concerned about growth too much either. We only got really Cunning and uh, the other guys. So let's go. Probably just wait to. Yeah, I'll check. I'll. Ch I didn't see him grow, so I no, I didn't see him. I was just looking at the lines. But yeah, no. Let's just go to the calendar. Let's just go another month. We'll go probably to the deadline before we check out progress reports because we don't have that much where I'm concerned about. You know, someone jumping up all crazy. All right, there's a tough loss, two to one, and we got a two to one victory. Oh my goodness, an eight to seven win! What an exciting game that must have been. Not so much for the coaches, but uh, ooh, a couple five to two losses there. All right, wait a sec. Is Minnesota gonna fall off, or are we gonna keep finding ways to win games with this squad? We are gonna keep finding. I don't know how we're scoring that much. It's really weird. You'd think with the team we just wouldn't be able to score that much, but. <laughs> we are interesting very interesting okay so we'll do three and probably just one or two for the defense it's only 28 that's really not much I'd probably just get away with one because we did the three weeks for all the uh, can uh canadian places all right so 27 19 and four i mean we're the playoff team like that's what it's looking at we're a playoff team might as well let them have a crack at it anything can happen in, e in an ea sim Third in the division, three points ahead of the wild card. F only four total, though. So, that, yeah, we got to be careful. If we start the slip, we got to make the decision at the deadline. So, ooh, this could be bad if we if we risk all of it and then it doesn't work. Ooh, we've, we started allowing a lot of goals. That, ooh, it's getting closer. Oh, that's not us. That's Winnipeg. That would be, oh, still. Yeah, we're almost at a three, but the goals against us shot way up. Power play's good. Penalty kill probably, yeah, penalty kill. Right, let's see if we can fix that penalty kill. Let's see if we can fix that penalty kill. That's been a bit of a sore spot for the whole time. But uh, Stahl, 48 points. Granlin, 39. I mean, damn, Stahl is a freaking beast. Yeah, what else can you say? He's a beast. Okay, Koivu's got 38. Parise's, oh, he got a decent chunk of points there in that stretch, I think. He should at least get 50 points, which, again, for how much you're paying him, that's under undercutting, but, you know, whatever. Look, Erickson's got 20 points. Oh, he's 80 overall. He's, yep, third line. There we go. Again, time time to move him up. Got a lot of points on that power play. How about Cunning? Has he jumped up? Uh, nope. He's still fourth line. But now the problem is now Coil is going to be sort of out of place. We got to think about what we're going to do there. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. But I want to keep this guy growing, so we're going to keep moving him up. God, that awareness and passing. Ugh, you're so good. Why are you so good? All right, how about how our defense going? A couple minuses. Brodeen and Dunbar minuses. Has Brodeen grow? Yeah, he's up to 83. Not great, but you can still you can still kind of maybe shoot up. I don't know if he is, but we'll see. They're minuses. I don't like it. But not too much I could do about it right now. Can't really mix it. Ugh. Yeah, fucking stay lock. I'll send him through Ravers. Even even Dubinik uh, dropped down. So let me. I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna try the other guy out. I mean. Or trade for a better backup. Because he can't be doing worse, really, man. He really can't be doing worse. Okay, well, it's looking good for right now. I want to make that um, couple line changes. And that backup situation is... Man, it's it's bad. So, he might be picked up through waivers. If he is, though, not the huge loss. He's pretty bad right now. Oh, what was I doing? Hold on. we got to see where we're going to put Erickson first. <sighs> I don't really want to move Koivu because he's doing so good. Coil's now second. Ooh, okay. Well, we could move Koivu, but uh, I don't want to screw up our chemistry. Maybe he's getting enough ice time. Oh, I, mm, I can't risk that, though. Let's be... No, I can't risk that. Let's see. Okay, Winnick is going to have to... Yeah, Winnick's gonna have to drop. I don't wanna. I don't wanna mess this up, man. For he's technically better at faceoffs, but let's play him in the center in his role. Put Coil on that one time. I don't think he shoots a whole lot. Ninety one. He's got a good percentage though. You know what? We could try it. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We'll try that out. I like it. Let's see about that penalty kill. If I could optimize this any better. Let's try moving Zucker up. Koivu as well. Switch him around. Well, no. Koil needs that top time. Um, let's see. Brodeen. Uh, I don't know. They sh 
It looks like it should be good. Let me see. Does Cole have power play? He doesn't. Our power play is fine, so... No, I got to keep him on the PK. I don't want him to get screwed up morale-wise. Maybe Win... No, Winnick's so good defensively. You got to keep... Even, even better than... Yeah. Why was it... You know what? Let me try this. No, no. He's on the... Yeah. Let's try this out. Let's see. I don't know. It's a minor change, but you never know. Sometimes minor change is all you need. Let's get Cullen out of there as well. I'll go... I'll load up the three-man. Uh, like Granlin and Koivu. We'll try that out. Is anyone better though? Hold on. How about Stall? Was he? No. Okay, let's try that out for the three man. Yep, we'll do that. Let's see if that improve our penalty kill. And let's look at that backup situation. Now we have a choice to try to trade for a better one, or just send him down. And we, we, I don't, I don't even think we can freaking trade the guy for a backup of. We can't go one for one, basically. Although, trading away later picks in these first couple years aren't that bad. Let's see what's available. Let's see if there's... You know a good place to check is Winnipeg. They, they have a lot of goalies. So let's see. They got Mason. <laughs> well, that's not the one. That's not the droid I'm looking for, but... 81. Is he still a star? Yeah. Oh, no, he's back up. Okay. Two years, uh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can freaking afford anything. I really don't think we can afford anything. No, I've, I just, no, I, we don't have any cash, man. I can't really get, yeah, all the, uh, all, all the goaltenders are going to be like cash. Like they're going to be like mill and above. We actually just legit can't. Tight year, but we gotta get. If we, if we want to make those playoffs, man. Staylock is not the guy to get. So let's try Svedberg. How's he done in the AHL? Yeah, decent, but it is the AHL. Let's try to switch him. Yeah, he'll have to clear waivers. He might get picked up. Uh, I don't think he did. Uh, maybe he did. Or does he have to? Does it take a few days? I'm I'm actually not too sure. I've never sent someone down through waivers, so maybe it probably takes a couple days or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's try it out. Let's put Svedberg in. It didn't say that he was claimed. I assume I would get a notification. Anyway, Cockinen. Yeah, our goaltender situation is gonna suck here, but what can you do? I don't really care about my HL. It's <laughs> not yet. Not until I got prospects there. All right, let's continue here. Yeah, let's continue. Alright, now we're going to go up to the deadline and hope that our backup is a bit better. And we'll probably leave it right there. Because that's when we're going to have... That's when we have to decide. Are we going to... Oh, oh, do not want to go over it. We're going to have to decide at this point. Are we are we playoffs or not? But it's looking more and more like we are. But you never know. If we lose a bunch of games here, then... Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that was a four-point game that we needed to stay in the hunt. Close victory, though. Very close. All right. Oh, still here. So defense, two or one week. Ah. I'll do two weeks. Okay. Oh, another L. A win. It's tight. It's very tight. Punk Fist is... I didn't even... You weren't even injured. Get out of here. Well, he was, but he was minor, so... Oh, man. I don't know, man. It's... Uh, look at all these... Yeah, we're, we're actually getting a lot more L's right now. So I... Oh, here we go. Fucking... And now we can't trade him because he's injured. Shit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> at least he's got multiple years. Oh, there we go. Playoffs fucking down the drain. Let, we got to start. I think we, we better start rebuilding. Because that is not good. <laughs> we don't have anyone to call up. Ah! It's going to have to be cocking in as our damn backup. Oh, <laughs> there it is. GG. GG right there. Uh-oh. <laughs> At least, hey, you know what? At least it happened. And I, I guess what's-his-name got picked up through waivers because I don't see him. So, yeah, I, he must have got picked up through waivers. 
But there it is. There you got to you got to call the GG on that one. You lost Dubnik. That's pretty much it. What the hell? That guy's 72. We get a random 72 guy. What the hell kind of name is that? Ode Bur Oden Birkin. Oh, what the fuck? All right, Danny. Can I call you Danny? I hope so, because I cannot, for the life of me, figure that last name out. Okay, so that's a rough injury. We're probably going to lose these games. We actually won one, but 31, 24, and 6 without Dubnik. I think the writing's on the wall. It's, yeah, we could make it, but, uh, god damn. <laughs> this is, that. that's worst case scenario. Yeah, we lose that game. 31, 25, and 6. Yeah, we got a shot. But, oh, we're tied. We're tied with the wild card, and we don't have the other wild card. Oh, man, that, I'm, to I don't know, guys, that's tough. I still want Eric Stahl to get that statistical growth, so still kind of hold on. I don't have to trade him immediately, but we can start kind of making our team worse, but we're not going to have a lot. Because since we went so far, we were doing so well for so long, and then that injury to Dubnik, we... <laughs> I don't know if it's going to kick us out. When is he back? Ah, oh, When is he back for sure? March 14th. That's well, that's halfway into the next month. How many games is that? And that's fully healed, which you don't want to re-aggravate that goaltender injury. So we wait till he's fully healed. How many games would we have to? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games, man. I don't know. I don't know. Eight games. Eight games without Dubnik. Uh, when we're taught, when we're so, we're, we're basically in there by a thread right now. When we were Dallas is two points. So Chicago's only three points back. The other wild card is at 70 points. Vegas is at 67. This is such a tight race. It's a big risk either way. <laughs> I still want Stahl to get that statistical. So he's not going. But we can start shipping these off. We can start getting Parisi out of there. We could probably ship off Koivu even though he's extended. But that might hurt Stahl. Mm -hmm. We move up Stahl. But, oh man. This is it, though. I mean, this is... Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is... That's... We can go either way. We really can. But, you know, the bright side is we do decide to do that. We can hold on to stall. We can move up Coil onto his right wing side. So if we wanted to move Koivu, that wouldn't be horrible. He'd maybe be okay there. He's kind of got some goals. He can. He looks like he takes shots. It could work. I'll hold on to all these guys up here, maybe except for Parise. Hey, we'll move him, uh, and then we won't have a left wing. Well, we could just move. Uh, we can move Erickson up, and then Coil over there. Yeah, we could try something weird like that. If we did that, that's if we were gonna rebuild. That's what we'd do. We'd move out Parise and Koivu probably, and then move up Zucker, move over Coil, maybe move up Erickson there, because with his offensive stats, he could still help out Stall. Then defensively, obviously, you ship off Suter. And call some guys up just to fill in some roles like Murphy. Hold on to Spurgeon. We don't need to move him yet. And I don't think you can trade Dubnik when he's injured. So we'd have to trade him at the draft or something. And if we don't, we can, we're going to risk those eight games to try to get Dubnik back and still try to have a crack at those playoffs. Ah, oh, this is, it's, I don't know what to do because it's, it can go either way. And, oh, damn, man. I don't know. Oh, very rough. It's, it's very rough right now. So I'm going to need you guys' help. We're here at the deadline. What do we do? Do we keep on the path that we're going or should we just take this, take this injury and be like, all right, we, we need to, we need to bite the bullet and just do it. Just, just start the rebuild because it's only downhill. We got to remember it is only downhill from here with our main guys. Stahl is only going to decline. Koivu's only going to decline. Parise's trash. Uh, Suter, if you don't move him relatively soon, that contract is going to be as bad as Parise's. So, <sighs> choices, choices. What do you guys think? Rebuild or not rebuild? That is the question. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.